But as Tonya Sides Kelly Dudzik explains right now, the numbers are a little different depending on which county you live in. Whether your region can reopen is all based on the numbers in those seven categories that we've been talking about, and some of our numbers are not good. I've had multiple conversations with state officials in the last 24 hours, especially about the difference between Western New York and the Finger Lakes region and why we're in general going down and the Finger Lakes is going up, but they can meet the metric because they've had less than 15 hospitalizations on average for a three-day period. We have not. Uh, but I want to see that number continue to go down. That is how we're going to open up. When that goes down, the deaths in hospitals go down, and we'll have a much better chance of meeting the metrics to reopen. State Senator George Borello represents the Southern Tier and parts of Livingston County. Do you think that your part of Western New York should be able to start phase one before maybe Erie County? Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, I put forth a plan back on April 15th, along with my colleague, Assemblyman Andy Goodell, uh, that actually the, the governor ended up adopting for the most part, not officially, of course, uh, that called for us to do this phase reopening by uh, the 10 economic development zones throughout the state, which he did do. But an important part of our plan was to, uh, in, to pull out those major metropolitan areas within those economic development zones because of population density. Uh, and had he done that, then yes, uh, the counties that I represent uh, would be able to open right now. We have met those metrics. Senator Borello told us that a lot of businesses in the southern tier have already turned in plans that meet CDC guidelines for how they could reopen safely. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.